We are at our fourth destination. Just had lunch. The food was great. Now we are at a heritage museum, something. So yeah, let's go see. I'll check what we have here. Walking around, you can look at old architecture, you can look, there's an old truck there, uh, there's music here, so yeah, you know, take five minutes, go around, enjoy, take pictures. And, uh, yeah, and you'll have the opportunity to come to the museum later, because in November you cannot miss a very famous festival, which will be the first week of November, yeah. I think, it's called Lok Mela. And uh, it's one week when uh, all the artisans from all over the country, they come here, they sell their uh, handicrafts, their food. It's really amazing. And then at that time, you, you come and you, you pay a visit to the museum. Okay. Uh, Lock Mela, that yeah. you just talked about, is I just mm -hmm. got the date, November 25th. Ah, for five days. Oh, okay. So, if we will organize, uh, we'll try to organize a visit on uh, the beginning. Uh, so we have a VIP visit of the Lac Mela, and then I recommend coming back, you know, and visiting multiple times. This museum is actually, it's like an optical illusion. It looks small from the outside, but it's very, very big inside. Really? Um, very well done. Yeah, it's yeah, very it's well nice. done. In particular, if you like music instruments, they have one room with all the music instruments that is absolutely fabulous. So it's a good place to come.
moments later. Later. Hey guys, this is destination number I don't know what, uh, and this is a railway something. I'm not why this is this email but okay, this is a railway something, and now we're getting some tickets. Then it's a gallery again, so yeah, it's a museum type of thing. There's just a lot of history here.
thousand years. The water inlet is on one side, and uh, on the opposite corner, you have an outlet also. So the water will stay still and at a, up to a certain level, uh, only up to a certain level in the in the pond. Um, and you can see that the pond uh, the pond was actually built by a man who lived in Rawalpindi. Uh, his name was Buddha Singh, and he built this pond. Uh, the and it must have been uh, around the 19th century. Um, and for the construction of the pond, you can see they've used rocks and uh, mud. And the water stream that I was talking about has uh, sort of created this part. Destiny number last and Sikatele Sonke. No one has the energy now. We are at the caves. We're just taking pictures. Actually, we're not even going through most of the things here. So, Sutikiwe. Sia Hambanku. Sutikiwe. Guys, hope you have subscribed. Please remember to like the video. Comment down below. If you haven't subscribed, like, what are you waiting for? Sikatele.